Привет всем! С вами я, Джейни, и это College Russian. Have you ever made these verb conjugation mistakes? Я писаю сочинения. Also, these written mistakes that I see Russians make all the time. Кто подскажет? Мы едем во Францию этим летом. Or, почему вы никогда не ездите в Россию? So, as you can see, these are small little mistakes, but in today's video, I am going to teach you how to hack into Russian verbs so that you never make these mistakes ever again. We are going to talk about the two conjugation systems in Russian. Verbs are either first conjugation or second conjugation. They fit into one of these two categories. And if you know which category they fit into, you know how to conjugate them. Also, I'm going to teach you about a very valuable thing I have my students do called making a conjugation hamburger. What in the world is a conjugation hamburger? Stay tuned and find out. Also, носите ли, знаете ли вы, что в русском языке существуют только четыре глагола, которые не соответствуют этим типам спряжения? Знаете ли вы, какие? Если вы знаете, оставьте комментарий внизу. So can you believe that they're in the whole Russian language, unlike French? Unlike Spanish, unlike Portuguese, where there's so many exceptions to AR and ER and IR verbs, there are only four verbs in the whole Russian language that violate these rules that I'm going to teach you. So I think that's pretty good that you can go and you can learn these conjugations and be very confident that you have the tools it takes to hack into any Russian verb. I have a worksheet that goes with this that you can find over on collegerussian.com. And if you have any questions about it, go ahead and post something on the community tab or email me at collegerussian at gmail.com. Okay, so first mistake. Я писаю сочинение. Now, there is a verb, писаю. It just doesn't mean what you think it means. So bless your heart. English speakers, we come into Russian. Maybe we've learned a little bit of Spanish or French in junior high, in middle school or high school. And we see a te merkiznak verbs, and we think, oh, a te merkiznak verbs, they conjugate a certain way. I'm gonna conjugate it. Ya znaju, ya panimayu, ya pisayu, ya chitayu. So, something you need to keep in mind is that the Russian infinitive is of no help. In fact, it can even lead you astray. So, really, to guess a Russian verb conjugation, you need to know at least one ideally two of the conjugations. So I'm gonna preach to you all about the importance of reading poetry, saying poetry out loud, listening to music, and singing music out loud. Why? Because poetry and music have rhythm, and rhythm gets stuck in our head. And music and poetry give examples of verb conjugations. If you were with me uh, this most recent Monday for our live stream of reading Pushkin poetry, you would have known the correct conjugation of pisat. Remember, he says, Когда в комнате моей я пишу, читаю без лампады. So right there we hear пишу. And in your brain you should be going, okay, the S went to a SH. Interesting. And maybe you know the song from the Brat Dva soundtrack, which is one of my favorites. <laughs> Nobody writes to the colonel. So now you have the ya pishu and on pishet, or nikto ni pishet, conjugations in your mind, left over from poetry and music, and already you have awesome skills to be able to hack these conjugations. Okay, so now in your mind, you have these two examples. This is now where you need to build, stay with me, a conjugation hamburger. We're gonna make a hamburger. Are you ready? So we got the bottom bun, that's the anye conjugation. And we got the top bun, which is the ya conjugation. Then we have all the yummy stuff, like the stuff we really care about in a hamburger, right? We got the lettuce, the burger patty, the cheese, the tomatoes. And that's what we're gonna call the inside of the hamburger. And Okay, so stay with me. Let me explain why you need to, when you conjugate a Russian verb, you need to be building this hamburger in your mind. 
A real quick note, if you don't already know just the basics of Russian verb conjugations, such as like all t conjugations end in a sh, all the m conjugations end in an m. If you don't already know this, I highly recommend backtracking slightly and going to the video that I'll link to, to below in the description for you to just even learn those basic endings and then come back to this. And this whole video will make a lot more sense. Okay, so here is our conjugation hamburger with what we've got so far. Doesn't look very delicious, right? It, 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 this is not a very exciting hamburger. But just based on what we have here, we can start guessing all of the other conjugations. Our key thing, the thing that is going to help us the most, just in the same way that we mostly like the inside of a hamburger, that's the best part, we really, really, really need to know at least one of the conjugations from the inside of the hamburger. So here, thanks to that song from the Brat Dva soundtrack, we know Pishet. And look at this vowel here, yeah. This vowel is super valuable. This tells us that we're looking at a first conjugation verb. Okay, so whoa, how do you know if a verb is first conjugation or second conjugation? I'll tell you how. First conjugations are identified by the following three things. The vowel either ye or yo, everywhere on the inside of the sandwich. The ani conjugation is simply the ya conjugation with a te on the end of it. That's it. And lastly, if there is a mutation in the verb, it's going to be everywhere in the hamburger. Okay, so now that you guys understand first conjugation verbs, let's go back and look at some of those mistakes that people were making. Even natives were making these mistakes and you're going to know how to hack into the system and correct. Okay, so the first one was one that I saw somebody say in a comment, Kto podskazit? And he wrote it like that. Well, that doesn't make any sense if you look at this hamburger. Notice why this is a mistake. Something you need to know, a life hack you need to know about verb conjugations is you're not gonna suddenly get a different vowel on the inside of the hamburger. You're just not, unless it's one of those four exception verbs that I told you about. But remember, there's only four of them in the whole language. The other mistake that we saw that was mentioned at the beginning of the video is мы едем во Францию. There is a verb, yedim, but it doesn't mean we're going. It means we are we are eating. So th this just doesn't make sense. Uh, so it needs to be мы едем because one, it's a first conjugation verb, and two, look at how all the other verbs on the inside of the hamburger are conjugated. Okay, so now we're going to address that last written mistake that I've even seen natives make, and I'm going to make you an expert on second conjugation verbs so that you can hack into all second, second conjugation verbs and figure out why this was a mistake and teach that person the error of their ways. Почему вы никогда не ездите в Россию? And they wrote it as ездите. Okay, we're about to find out why that is incorrect. In order to do that, we need to talk about second conjugation verbs. And we're going to use a verb that you probably learned pretty early on in your Russian learning. Especially if you fell in love with a Russian, you probably needed to use this verb a lot, which is любить, to love. Okay, so let's look at these conjugations here. Я люблю. Ты любишь. Он любит. Мы любим. Вы любите. Они любят. Okay, so we're playing detective. This is our Sherlock Holmes magnifying glass or monocle. What do you see in this hamburger that is different than the other hamburger? What is the vowel on the inside of the hamburger? It's an E. And that is your biggest indicator that you're working with a second conjugation verb. Okay, so now that you know you've got a second conjugation verb, the next thing you should know is that the ani is not as simple as it was in the first conjugation. The ani is going to have a yat ending or an at ending. At endings are after hushers like z, ch, sh, etc. Factor number three is if there is a mutation happening, it's only in the ya form, and then it doesn't happen anywhere else in the hamburger. Notice how in the ya, in lubit, we get this weird L. We get an additional L that's nowhere else in the hamburger. That's because in second conjugation verbs, if you get a mutation, remember something weird happening, something changing, it's only in the ya form. That's it. And then it disappears everywhere else. 
Okay, and no lesson with College Russian would be complete without a quiz section. So we're going to take verbs in anticipation of Musica Monday, which is coming up this coming Monday. We're going to look at a song by the group Kino. I'm going to take the verbs from that song. The song is called Pachka Sigaret. And these are some of the verbs mentioned. What I want you to do, I'm going to lay out all these verbs for you. And you're going to tell me which of these verbs are first conjugation and which of these verbs are second. You'll notice I'm only giving you three hints per verb. I'm going to give you the infinitive and only two of the conjugations, and then it's going to be up to you to make the whole hamburger, which I know you can do if you watch this video. So here we go. Si joue, the infinitive is si diet, and then the other, another form is mi si dim. Okay, next one from the song is actually in the infinitive in the song. So, razglidiet, razglidiet, to kind of like look around. Um, ja razgliju, ty razglidish. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, what verb is it? Astavlyat. Ja astavlyu, vy astavlyate. Prapadat. Они пропадут, мы пропадем. Okay, so go ahead and identify which are first conjugation verbs, second conjugation verbs. Here we go, I'm about to give you the answers. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Сижу, сидишь, сидит, сидим, вы сидите, они сидят. Bams, second conjugation verb because we see e, e, e in the sandwich. And then we've got a yat in the ani conjugation. Next, разглядеть. Я разгляжу, ты разглядишь. Okay, we're seeing e. Tells us what? Tells us one. This is a second conjugation verb. We're going to have e, e, e everywhere. Tells us that ani is going to be different than ya. And lastly, it tells us that whatever mutation we saw in the ya form is not going to repeat because it's a second conjugation verb. Next one, оставлять. Okay, this one was a first conjugation verb because of the vowel ye. Ye, 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 ye. Here we go. Я оставляю. Ты оставляешь. Он оставляет. Мы оставляем. Вы оставляете. Они, this one's super easy, just add a T, оставляют. Все. Um, next one is пропадать. Prapadat, uh, which means to kind of like disappear, kind of fall through. It can mean a couple different things. Ya prapadu, ti prapadiosh. Okay, whoa, we just got a yo. We're gonna need that yo everywhere inside the hamburger. Ti prapadiosh, on prapadiot, mi prapadiom, vi prapadiote. Take the ya, put a t on the end of it. Ani prapadut. All right, I hope that you are master hackers of the Russian verb now. Seriously, you will never make another mistake in your conjugations ever again. Next thing you're going to need to learn is stress patterns in verb conjugations. And there is a system. There are life hacks for knowing the stress in Russian verb conjugations as well. And that's going to be in a coming video. Which verbs drive you crazy? Which verbs are hard for you to hack? Leave a comment below. Let me know of mistakes you've made in verb conjugations, one that you, ones that you can't remember for the life of you, and also if you know those four exception verbs of the verbs that do not follow these conjugation systems whatsoever. They just do whatever the heck they want. They don't care. They don't follow the stress patterns. They don't follow the conjugation patterns. Let me know if you know what those verbs are in the comments below. Это все на сегодня. Спасибо большое. I hope you learned so much. I hope you never have problems with Russian verbs ever again. Это все. До свидания. Увидимся в понедельник. Пока.